All right, uh, people, we're back, uh, and we have another genius to talk about. And another addition to our podcast, another uh, segment <laughs> known as <laughs> the worst family member of the week. Yeah. And why, AJ, do we feel the need to add this other category? <laughs> Something extraordinary happen? I don't know. It's uh, Lindsey Graham. Ah, oh, yes. Of course, Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, Senator. Brown noser in chief, um, Lindsey Graham. Ass kisser. Mm. Okay, so he was uh, speaking to, who was he speaking to? There was. Um, he was speaking to, um, so Lindsey Graham was uh, speaking to, in a committee, a uh, budget committee, mm-hmm. to uh, Biden's uh, acting um, Office uh, management, I mm-hmm. think, budget and management. Yeah, management budget. Yeah. Uh, so he um, was asking her uh, if there is any evidence of uh, people not taking jobs because of federal unemployment benefits sure. that are being paid right now. A bunch now. of states are basically canceling the federal unemployment benefit for uh, for their state because they believe it hinders the ability to hire people back as the economy reemerges from the COVID pandemic. Do you understand that logic and what's your view of that? Well, one, I'd like to state the way we do unemployment, the governors have the right to make those calls. But I'd also like to point out the jobs report we saw last week uh, before any of these payments were pulled back, we saw uh, what I think is tremendous growth in the jobs market. We added 559,000 jobs. We're down to the lowest unemployment level since before the pandemic. Uh, so, so we will see the results of what those governors have, have done. But we're also seeing a big return of the economy before that $300 was well, pulled. Their, their belief is that the enhanced unemployment benefit is deterring people from re-entering into the workforce. There's a lot of jobs out there that are unfilled and will never be filled until you change the benefit structure. Does that logic make sense to you, given where we're at in our economy? I understand the logic, but I've also not met Americans who would prefer not to work. There's a dignity to work in this country that most Americans... Well, I got a lot of people in my family that ain't working because they're getting... (laughs) I'll show you some in my family. Uh, So... Bottom line is, I think there are people out there that are not bad people, but they're not going to work for $15 an hour if they make 23 unemployed. That doesn't make you a bad person. If you're working for $15 an hour, that makes you almost a chump. And her response was that she hadn't met anybody because uh, what did she say? That American have a, Americans have a dignity? Yeah, they have a dignity in working. Yeah. They pride themselves they're as hard workers. But Lindsay wasn't having that, was he? No, he didn't want to take that as an answer. So he said, instead, he provided evidence. <laughs> he said, well, <laughs> what, you haven't met my family? Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he throws his own family under the bus. It's not surprising. Um, I mean, what, what is family anyway to him? Is They it's don't help his political aspirations, so no. what does it matter? Yeah, uh, pretty, uh, pretty ballsy move there, yeah. Lindsay. Um, kind of a... Kind of a sleazy thing to do to your family. But, <laughs> but that should tell him that, you know, that, you know, his family is uh, taking $300 over a job that there must be a reason. Yeah. Yeah. But he can't understand what it would be. No. He doesn't understand that logic. Well, I mean, as a U.S. senator, you're making, what, 170000 a year or more, whatever he makes. Uh, that's just pocket change he gets yeah. from the... I that's mean, true. That, that's just for his ladies. <laughs> if he has any. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> so let's, let's get back to reality, AJ. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's the uh, change uh, in the couch of the Koch brothers. Yeah. That's all, all it is. But, yeah, that, that's how he, um, that's his relationship to his family. He'll throw him under the bus like that and humiliate him in front of a world audience just to make a point. I mean, he was, making a point is more important than family. Yeah. Even though it's anecdotal. Yeah. So, well, that's uh, that's Lindsay, man. That's what we've come to. Uh, I mean, admire. there is, uh, there may be some evidence for you know people not taking jobs because of three hundred dollars, and uh, we know that. I mean, I've personally experienced it, mm-hmm. where um, you know restaurants and bars and 
hotels that they don't have enough people to work for them. But that should tell them that, you know, maybe increasing their wages, you know, would bring them back. Hmm. Um, Why should they have to do that, AJ? Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, these people should work for uh, slave wages. I mean, that's, that's the whole point anyway, right, of capitalism. It is. That's the point. You pay as little as possible to get yeah. as much productivity as possible. So Yeah. Uh, and um, just look at recently uh, Chipotle and uh, McDonald's. They all said they are increasing their minimum wage starting salary. So, um, and Chipotle said they're starting um, at $15 an hour. So, What did uh, Mickey D say? Mickey D say they're going to increase it to 11 and then goes up hmm. after that so well but now they can afford it they're they're big companies right yeah and there are signs in um, recently i went to florida and i saw a sign in McDo at mcdonald's starting pay is 16 dollars. <laughs> 16 dollars. 16 dollars. going above and beyond huh yeah i like it well i mean that's the that solution they're looking for i mean maybe it's uh this was a way to get corporations to pay mm -hmm. and uh, you know people you know pandemic did a couple of things in my opinion it really made people realize that they don't have to be slaves anymore there's more to life than just going to work like staying home and collecting a paycheck yeah <laughs> <laughs> that or not have to take that shitty job. I know. I know. It's always expected that people just take the jobs, yeah. but you know, it, that only lasts for so long. And if you have rising inflation, well, buy less for your money. It's just not worth it. No, I mean, uh, if uh, you're only making fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars a year, I mean, maybe it's better to just stay home. Mm hmm. Then you're not paying for you know, where yeah. you're your car, you know. <laughs> you, know. You, you don't you don't need a car, I mean, to go to work then. That's right. You don't have to pay insurance, no gas, nothing. I mean, you can live pretty comfortably, you know, if you don't have to do those things. Well, there's the answer, folks. Yeah. Everybody quit your jobs, unless you're in a red state, because they, <laughs> they're canceling that. <laughs> or is it already canceled? They're... They have put in a process to cancel these things. Okay. So. All right. Yeah, it's, it's going to get there. Uh, best of luck. <laughs> All right. <laughs>